Hi everyone. Welcome to American University of Integrative Sciences. Uh, this is P. Bharat Puranam. Bharat Puranam. Uh, I would like to welcome you to the pre-medical sciences and uh, hope you have a really good time in the university. So I'm also the pre-medical coordinator. So if you have anything regarding pre-medical sciences, you can contact me at any point of time. So with that behind, so let's start with the introduction to in inorganic chemistry one. So this is the first course of chemistry that you're gonna face. So you have another three other courses of chemistry. So you have inorganic two parts, part one and part two. So you do it in semester one, part one, and then in semester two, you're gonna do part two. You have organic chemistry one and organic chemistry two that you're gonna do in semesters three and four. Now, so welcome to the course. So this is a two, first part of the two semester course on inorganic chemistry. So we are gonna discuss the applications of inorganic chemistry and we focus more on the applications in biology and life sciences. You might not see it, but you might end up knowing a lot about it while we go through the curriculum. So when we end up going, when you end up going to biochemistry, you might realize the importance of this. So it's also a good, a good basis for uh, physiology. It's also a good basis for biochemistry. So it will help you a lot over there. Now, so in terms of the course, so the first part of the course, we'll discuss about the general uh, principles of organic chemistry, and we'll enter the components of matter. And then we have two chapters through three chapters of uh, physical chemistry. And then about we'll end up with uh, the general chemistry which involves quantum theory and atomic structure and then we discuss electronic configuration and chemical periodicity and then we enter the concepts of bonding so the last three chapters involve bonding now so this might be new to you but the grading scheme is as follows so you have a graded quizzes so these are quizzes that are conducted throughout the entire semester and you have a midterm examination. Midterm examination is conducted in the mid part of the semester. And we have active learning assignments. Active learning assignments are assignments that are simulations, lab assessments, so that are combined into one category. So you will learn a lot more about this as we go along with the chapter. And you have professionalism. So professionalism here refers to a scale considering the attendance, considering your presence in the class, considering how uh, good you are at uh, submitting your assignments on time and you have the comprehensive final examination that involves the largest percentage so combining all of them if you get to the grading score above 70 only then you pass the course so this is important to remember so we have only one textbook that we follow Silberberg and Amethyst so this is a text I recommend uh, because most of the course material that we're going to go through is this textbook. It's a, a fairly large textbook. I have uploaded the PDF file on Canvas under the resource module. So at the start of the entire course, you will see this page. So click on the resources for this course and you will find this textbook there as a PDF link. You can download it, you can use it. If you have a chance to buy it, I would recommend buying it because it's going to be a useful resource as you go along to organic chemistry as well. So we will be, I will be conducting doubt clearance sessions. So the idea here is that I will be providing a comprehensive pre-recorded video lecture for every chapter on Canvas. So you can find it in the modules. And after the recorded video is done, I will be conducting a doubt clearance session every Friday from 10 to 12. And you can contact me during the week as well. I can conduct an impromptu session in the middle of the week, provided that I know what time that you want me to conduct and I have to check my schedule as well. So this session will be done using Google Meet. You will find this as an app that you get uh, with the AUIS uh, Google uh, Gmail package. And I will be sending a Meet link prior to the session. So uh, keep, uh, Keep checking your mails, especially AUIS emails, just to make sure that you have uh, good updates on them. And in terms of proctoring, every quiz will be proctored 
because of the pandemic presently we i'll be proctoring using google meet and before the quiz i'll be sending out a link and every not any non proctored exam will not be counted towards your final grade and in terms of active learning assignments every assignment will have a given time frame so if you submit it on time you get the full score and as you'll delay the decrease the score will decrease accordingly so generally the submission is through canvas so if the if there's a written at written, written assessment then i'll be you giving you a stream of instructions on how to upload to canvas so that you can use that to upload it on canvas so if you have any further information that you want or anything that you feel doubtful you can contact me on my email with the video i am also attaching uh, if you click next on the canvas module after this video you will find a small canvas tutorial that will basically be an overview of going through canvas and what are all the features that are on canvas so you can use that you can flow through canvas and it will be easier for you to have a clear flow of what uh, canvas can be used for thank you and uh, i will see you in the next lecture